After recently discovering the brand new game of chess, I decided that I had to play it. But I couldn't find anyone else to play against me. So I decided the best idea would be to spend way too much time and absolutely way too much effort building a robot that does it by itself. The premise of this is that I actually did not know how to play chess before this, and I learned it for this project, and I learned how to play or use Python and Raspberry Pis for this whole project, which just sort of goes to show how easy it is to use because I'm not a software person. Now, a basic overview of the whole thing, it's controlled by Raspberry Pi as a brain, and then that does all the main image calibration and image direct processing plus uh, piece recognition, and then that moves on to move validation, make sure it's a legit move, and then move generation to actually figure out how to, or what's the best move to do after this. Then it sends that move over to the Arduino, which then parses that, and then does some inverse kinematics to figure out which point and which angles the arms need to be at to get over it, and then figure out how to, the sequence of events to do all of that, and then move the piece, and then, or like capture a piece, all that stuff. Now the bot. The main bot is called a SCARA robot, or Selective Compliance Articulated Robot Arm, and it has the freedom to determine which axis it wants to move, and then which combinations of axes to move at what in time. The design was based off of a How to Mechatronics build, but I modified it to give a different gripper to give it clearance for each piece, and I made the arms longer so it could reach the entirety of the board and not just partially of it, and then I added a Raspberry Pi camera to the top of it to give it eyes and a brain. The total print time was about 60 hours using a 0.6mm nozzle, as I cared way more about speed than detail, but it still took about 60 or so hours to do everything. The one issue I have with the design is that it's not nearly as rigid as I would have liked, so the main turret has some tilt to it, which changes stuff up. It's due to a variety of reasons, such as uh, like tolerance and wall thickness there, maybe some warping, and also I added, or I, I made the arms longer than they should have been, so then I added a larger moment to the turret design, which just went past its, me or its limits. So that's the one problem. That definitely changed up uh, how I did some of the stuff because it's not some clean 2D operations, as there's now some tilt in the turret design and the whole arm, but that just needs some more calibration because all hardware issues can be fixed in software. Maybe not, but uh, moving on, the image processing is done on the Raspberry Pi, so it first takes a static photo of the board, and then it goes through a series of filters to actually get that final image. The first one is a matrix transform because the camera is not directly overhead. So I have to figure out a transform to get those the square that I take a picture of just to a direct overhead. That makes the math way easier later on. After I have that, I change the image to an HSV or HSV image or a hue saturation value image type. That way I can just do some image processing or I can add limits or uh, ranges to sort of figure out which pixels fall within certain means. And this is just how I separate the white pixels from everything else. After that, a threshold just makes it so that everything is either black or white. So that I can then split each uh, thing into 64 squares in total. And then I move through each square or each box. And then I apply an algorithm to search for contours. And then if any contour has a large enough area and it's above the bottom third or the average value is above the bottom third then i know that there's a piece there i just have it above the bottom third because the camera is not directly overhead so if a tall piece is in a certain position it can sort of look like it's in two places at once if i wasn't finding that mean value and then after i have all that i know which piece has or which square has a piece in it and then i can use that to determine where the pieces are and which pieces are where how I do that is I sort of, by knowing what the board looked like before and then comparing it to what the board looks now, I can determine which piece is moved. The one time this could be an issue is when you're doing the promoting a piece. So a pawn at the very end can promote to a different piece, but uh, that could probably be solved using some sort of convolutional neural network just because you can sort of choose between like three or so pieces there. But for now, I'm sort of assuming which piece is there, and then I haven't integrated that yet. That's in the future. After I know which piece is there, uh, I will change the boards internally, and then I just sort of know where everything is, and then I can do that. After I have that move, I pass that move into a chess engine, in this case, Stockfish, which is just a certain chess engine that works with Python. 
and then that engine will check to make sure it's a legit move. If it's not a legit move, then I will move the piece back using the robot, because I can sort of do that, and it's just kind of cool. If it is a legit move, then I will take that in, and then the engine will spit out a new result within one second. So it figures out what is the best or the best option I have within one second. And then once it figures out that, it'll push that result to a Raspberry Pi, or the Raspberry Pi to the Arduino, and then the Arduino sort of figure out everything else out. The Arduino reads it over serial, and then once it knows which piece has moved, which piece needs to be captured, if any, what the starting and ending positions are, and once it has all that, it'll figure out the sequence of events needed. And then it's just sort of a logical set of instructions, so like, if there's a piece to be captured, capture it first, then move next piece to that position, and then be done. After it's done, it sends a signal back to Raspberry Pi saying it's done, and then the cycle repeats. The whole movement is controlled using some inverse kinematics, which is just using some math to figure out uh, which where the de or the desired x y coordinates are, and then you can use some geometric transforms or use just some basic trig like some high school trig. You can figure out which angle each arm should be at to reach that position, and then it controls it using a CNC shield to control some NEMA 23 motors, which are just pretty generic. It's the same ones on 3D printers and stuff, like these are just spare parts, and then it'll control everything out there, and it's nice and simple. After the thing is moved, then yeah, the cycle repeats, it goes again, and then it's just uh, until the very end. At the very end, it just stops, and then game over. But that's about it. Overall, this project was a whole lot of fun to work on, and I learned about Python, Raspberry Pis, chess, uh, computer vision, and even a little bit of machine learning, but I couldn't get the things quite quick enough. It took about 18 seconds for it to calculate everything, which was a little bit too long for each move. But uh, I have all the code on GitHub if you really want it, and the CAD too, but you really shouldn't look at it. It's a complete garbage mess. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.